Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the 5-Minute Facebook Ministry. I'm Anthony Daniels, and uh, <clears throat> today we're coming out of 1 John, the second chapter, 14 first. That's, four, that's 1 John 2 and 14, 1 John 2 and 14, and it reads, I write to you, dear children, because you know the Father. It's I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong. And in the word of God, and the word of God lives in you, and you have overcome the evil one. <clears throat> now, this is a pretty long verse, and this is John, and uh, this is the, a book that he wrote. And he's explaining them why he wrote what he wrote. And he says, you know, I write to you, dear children. Because you know the Father, and the Father is God. I write to you fathers because you know him who is from the beginning. Again, who is from the beginning? That's God. I write to you young men because you are strong. And the word of God lives in you. And you have overcome the evil one. Now, <clears throat> what John is saying here is that, you know, he, he, he is writing to Christians. He's writing to us who know the Father. That's why we're called children, because we're children of God. You know, he, we know that God is from the beginning. We accept that. We believe that. And we are strong because the word of God lives in us, because we read the word of God. We understand the word of God. And we have overcome the evil one. Now, overcome the evil one means that not only do we read the word of God, but we live by the word of God. And John goes on to talk about love, loving your, loving your brothers and sisters, and uh, and when he says brothers and sisters, we're not talking about just your natural uh, blood brothers. So we're talking about every man and woman as your brother and sister in Christ. And if you and if you're doing right, you're not sinning. Uh, he talks about denying the Son Jesus Christ. But he, he's writing this to Christians to build us up, to encourage us, okay, to stay where we are with Christ. And he said, you know, we're dear children. I write to you, dear children, and we are, we are God's dear children. You know the Father. We know the Father. We believe and trust him to take care of us as his children. Okay, we believe and trust in him to take care of us as his children. And, you know, we know that he's from the beginning. And, 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 and our knowledge of God, okay, our knowledge of his word and how he wants us to live makes us strong. It makes us strong. And when, when you say strong, that strong comes from just being faithful, understanding, um, you know, understanding that, again, whatever you're going through, whatever situation is in, you're facing, uh, God is with you. And that gives you the strength to get through that situation. From a from a day-to-day -day perspective, the strength of God should get you through every day. You know, and the thing about, <clears throat> about God is... God doesn't want us to worry about tomorrow. He wants us to deal with the problems of today. He's going to give us what we need to get through today. Okay. I know that we think that we have to plan ahead and we, you know, and you know, and I'm not saying that you should plan ahead at all, but the thing is we shouldn't worry about tomorrow. We can make plans and we can plan to do things, but you know, we shouldn't worry about things getting done. We shouldn't worry about, where our next meal is coming from. We shouldn't worry about our next paycheck, our next job. We should trust those things to God. Okay, if we trust those things to God, then he'll deliver. And he'll deliver them when we need them. Okay, when, and he knows when we need things. And he says, you have overcome the evil one. Now, that is key to living a Christian life. That God gives us the strength to overcome evil. But we choose we choose to, to still do evil. We choose to do things. The, Satan cannot make us do anything. Okay? We've overcome the evil one. That means that he can't make us do anything. We've overcome him. Okay? He has no authority over, over us. He has no authority over us. He cannot make me do anything. It's like when you go to work, you know, you probably got a boss and you got, probably got another co-worker. You know, if your co-worker tell you to do something, you look at him like, I ain't doing that. You know, if your boss tell you to do it, you be like, Okay, sir, I, I, I get right to it. You know, Satan is your co-worker. In fact, Satan is not even your co-worker. Satan is that guy who works, 
you know, uh, below you. That's Satan. So when he tells you to do something, you go, man, I ain't doing that. that. That's how we react to Satan. We have overcome him through God, okay, through our Father who strengthens us through faith. Remember, that's my new thing now. Faith moves God. Faith moves God, not our behavior, not, not good deeds. Our faith moves God. Moves God. Ooh, that five minutes go by fast. Um, I thank you. Just want everybody to know that I'm putting this on uh, on YouTube now, uh, so there that, you know you can send a link out uh, if you do a search for E. Anthony Daniels. You should be able to subscribe to the page, and they'll send you an email. And you don't have to go to Facebook to watch the videos. And you can sh please share them with your friends. And I encourage you, you know, to uh, to put something on your page every day that refers to God. And, and, and let's, let's reach out to the world through Facebook and all these social media outlets that we have to spread the word of God. Have a great day. God loves you, and I love you too.